Hello and welcome to this CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget entitled How Does Website Hosting Work? My name is Tim Warner. Website hosting is a subscription-based plan for business or personal websites. It's up to you, of course, whether you're hanging an electronic or digital shingle for your business or if you just have what's called a vanity website. Maybe you want your own blog, not under some other company's control like Blogger, but your own domain name, timwarnertech.com, for instance. That's my actual personal website. The purpose of this micro nugget is to give you just the basics to get you started in hosting your own website. Now, the subscription means, of course, that you're going to buy a year, two years, three years worth of access through a company who will actually host the website on their servers and make it available to your viewers. Now, in almost all cases, a website hosting plan is going to require the purchase of a domain name. TimWarnerTech.com is an example of a DNS domain name. This is the friendly name that your viewers will use to access your website, and you want to put a lot of thought into choosing your domain name. That could actually be the subject of its own micro nugget, for that matter. These plans range from semi-automated to completely manual. Again, some companies, like GoDaddy, have have all sorts of tutorials, helps, and methods, automated methods, for you to get a website that looks pretty good and actually has quite a few dynamic capabilities. Maybe the website supports e-commerce where you can process credit card orders, you write to a database, that would be a requirement of a blog for instance, and you don't have to know a lick of HTML, CSS, FTP, you can do everything through the website and their wizards. Other web hosting providers are completely manual. That's the other extreme, which is going to be really the case only for those of us who work in IT full-time and who are comfortable building a website from scratch. Now, there's a range of website hosting providers in between those two extremes. The core skills involved for you, the website designer or the hosting customer, are first and foremost a web design aesthetic. You need to put a lot of planning into what you want your website's purpose to be and then what it's going to look like and how usable it will be. Again, these are huge subjects. We're just barely scratching the surface in this micro nugget. But the web design aesthetic aesthetic or your planning is utterly crucial before you pull the trigger on a site. As far as the underlying technologies, we have things like XHTML and CSS. Now basically, without getting too geeky on you, HTML is the markup language that determines the presentation layer of your content. CSS determines the styling of that content. There's a separation nowadays in web design to separate the look and the content itself. It's called semantic web design. FTP is a protocol that we use to transfer files from your computer to the website host. Again, some website hosting providers automate this and enable you to do your file transfer all from within a web browser. Others will have you use a separate FTP client utility. If you want your website to do heavy lifting, what's called a dynamic website, this is a database driven website that's going to require a little bit of skill in different relational database systems. MySQL happens to be among the most popular database platforms for website hosts. Programming languages like Active Server Pages, ASP.NET, or PHP are de facto nowadays, but not strictly speaking required for most folks, who are just beginning anyway. I want to give you some tips and tricks here in selecting and planning your own website for a hosting account. First of all, read reviews. Now, the problem with this is that if you do a Google search for website host reviews, you're going to get spammed by the companies themselves who place straw man or straw person, to use a politically correct term, reviews. Basically, they're planted fake reviews. That's not going to really help. Your best bet is to get personal referrals from folks whom you interact with personally. You want to avoid this. Unfortunately, web hosts are spam kings, 
spam queens. That brings me to the third point here. Don't be distracted by all the upsell. Now my own hosting provider is GoDaddy.com. They do it all. As I said, you can register a domain name through them. You can use their automated tools or you can get your hands dirty to whatever degree you want. But you want to be careful when you're making your choices. They will try to upsell you the world. They'll present you things that you never thought you'd need and you actually don't. But they'll do their best to convince you that you do need them. So it's best really to take your referral and also ask that person or those people for some guidance when you're working through purchasing your domain name and your hosting plan. Speaking of which, you want to put a lot of thought into your domain name. You want to think about memorability. You want the name to be as short as possible and easy to remember as possible, but also unique and reflective of your business or personal website goals. Now, in 2012, 2013, as of this recording, chances are the name that you would prefer has already been purchased. So there's always some phishing involved to find a domain name that hasn't yet been purchased. Finally, prepare to perform research when you're troubleshooting. And you will be troubleshooting a lot, I can promise you, as you develop your website hosting plan. Google is your friend, and you will find excellent support links regardless of which website host you choose. Now, as I said, personally, I've had good luck with GoDaddy as long as you keep these tips and tricks in mind. I've also used Bluehost. I think they're pretty good as well. Now, of course, there are other web hosts that are great. This isn't a comprehensive list. This is simply a referral from me to you, and I hope you found it helpful. Well, that's it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.